bring the ball from inside because the computer's making noise? We can't play ball when there's expensive lights and cameras and computers and TVs. We don't. We don't do that. We don't get to play ball in the, in, in 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 this room. I'm gonna put it on the floor, and we'll play later. No, no, <laughs> we'll play later. I love you. I do. <laughs> but I don't love you enough to destroy you know, thousands of dollars worth of equipment that I don't want to break. Like in an emergency, yes, I love you that much, if it will save your life. To play ball with you, no. Don't judge me. All right. So we're jumping back in to see how far we can get today. Maybe we'll actually beat this game. It's a little cold in here, that's the blankets. I realize I'm a little bit off to the side today. Let me see if I can fix it this way. There we go, without having to move everything. Alright, so it's just a- Now, I don't remember everything, so we might have to skip through a few spots still that I've done before, so let's see. It's just another day working at the convenience store. There have been more customers than usual today, which is pretty nice. It's fun to work when it's lively, even if it gets stressful at times. There's a lull now, so I'm free to goof up on my phone. Pretty quick on the draw. Classic stuff. I think this is when his dad's gonna show up. All right, so we have done this one already in a prior video, so let's just swoop on by. I don't remember what I said last time. Wrong one. Let's ask about the father. There you go. Okay. Fundraising. Okay. Alicia Henrik sounds like a girl I could have could have related to. From what I read, she sounded smart, ambitious, and I think she was even on the track to graduate with honors. Then this happened, and now she's starting over in some other school. I know that all her hard work and awards will follow, but it's gotta feel sucky to lose all the connections and friendships you've made. I don't want that to happen to me. That's why I have to find out more about Alicia before it's too late. But eh, <laughs> I don't want to just go barge into the chemistry club room and ask about her. They might mistake me as someone who wants to join, and you, no thanks. That's how I got the brilliant idea of asking one of the club's advisors. Luckily enough, I also happen to know him too. Oh joy, Jeff. It's not one of Garber's it's not one of Garber's office hours today, so I stopped by his lab to see if he's there. And can And you call me a lab regular, even if I don't officially work there. I wonder if anyone here is I wonder if anyone here is annoyed at me yet. Well, it's for a good cause, I think. I'm not exactly sure if learning about Alicia will do me any good at all, but I still have to try. Either that or give up entirely. No, that's not gonna happen. I'll try to put more pep in my step as I enter the lab. The interns there know my face by now, so they hardly pay attention to the blonde outsider girl. Might as well see if he's here, too, and see if he can tell me if Garber's busy. Oh, there he is, has his, at his usual station. With his back turned, Jeff doesn't notice me until I'm right beside him. So I think. Why, hello there, assistant, and to what do I owe this unfortunate surprise to? He speaks from the corner of his mouth as he works, not off his game for a second. Impressive. Even as he insults me, he can still keep up with everything. Hey, Jeff. I was wondering if Professor Garver was in. I wanted to ask him something. Why are you still in your work clothes? He's out, I'm afraid. He must have better things to do than babysit his incompetent staff today. I sighed loudly as disappointment settles in my chest. It's not like I can't just ask him after class, but every moment this passes with him doing nothing puts me on edge. So I, I'm start. So here's what here's. So I'm starting to think it's gonna be it's gonna be Darren. Um, the main reason why is because three girls are missing. We're asking three of the students about them. The only student who are not gonna ask about a person is Darren. Maybe that's gonna be our hint. Who knows? I'm like finding hints everywhere. I say loudly as disappointment settles in my chest. Okay. Jeff straightens up from his speakers and pushes his goggles into his hair. How convenient you express your discontent right as I finish this crucial step of the filtration process. 
This is where I ask, is everything all right? Please answer in a sentence or less. He makes this sound as like I'm answering some short answer question on a test. I guess I'm not as okay as I usually am. Ah, oh, that was what I thought. Hmm. Wait outside. Why do I have to go outside? Because I'm going to take- it's going to take me a while to finish this filtration, and I know well enough you would dr <laughs> You would dread putting on the lab equipment required to stay here long- here long for, for that long. Oh my god, don't start now. I don't know why. If it's the color scheme or something, but- And I, I know I have astigmatism and so text can blur pretty easily, but different colors and different- texts and stuff like that, it can make it worse. And I think the more I'm staring at this, the white is blending into the pink, and I think that's what's throwing me off sometimes, because it just starts feeling very strange. Alright. When I'm finished, you can discuss with me the finer points of your malaise, and what I can- I don't know. And what I can do to hopefully rid you of it. Oh, that's really nice of you, Jeff. Is this even him or some freaky twin? Not at all. I'm only doing it to practice. I haven't been approached to solve another's depressingly simple problem for them in some time. I'm afraid I'm going rusty. Never mind. This is Jeff, alright. As insincere as his motives are, I'll still take all the help I can get at this point. I head outside and stand near the door to wait for him. Some people pass me by and I'm sure I look like some weird girl waiting out in the hall by myself, but I eventually hear the lab door open and look. When I see it's Jeff still wearing all his gear, I shove my phone back in my pocket. That wasn't too long. It was only, like, 40 minutes. I'm simply much more efficient than I gave myself credit for. There's a smack of latex as Jeff begins to peel the only glove he has on. Off all the only glove he has on. Just peel it one little piece at a time from your fingers. You're free to begin at any time. I am listening, though I may stop if you begin to bore me. The reason I'm kind of blar is because I'm just stressed out in general. If I'm not telling anyone about those messages, there's no way I'm going to tell Jeff. But I came to talk to Professor Garver because I wanted to ask about someone in the chemistry club. And with that, you have managed to completely pique my interest. For what reason do you have need of this info? And of whom? I garner it isn't for blackmail purposes. If I was the blackmailing type, you'd be so busted by now. I want to know more about Alicia Henrik, one of the girls who went missing last year. A faint look of surprise crosses Jeff's face. You didn't strike me as the type to be interested in those disappearances. I guess I just can't keep my nose out of other people's businesses, huh? Well, if you were looking on asking Garber, that was a that was a bluntly put stupid move on your part. There's no way he would have discussed the type of info you're probably looking for. What type is that? Raw opinion. Jeff shrugs, shaking a floppy glove as he held it on his hand. Shaking the floppy glove he has held in his hand. I hope he turned that inside out first. Garver is a professional, therefore he is only allowed to give unbiased, roundabout answers to any deep inquiry you may make. I don't know why I want to say intake. I, on the other hand, he places a hand on his chest, gesturing to himself. I am not a professional! I can tell you what you need to know with no need for the usual rigmarole. You should be delighted that I am offering to help you in the first place. I will be, sure, but I don't know if I can really trust Jeff, of all people, to give me accurate information. Were you in the chemistry club, Jeff? With talent like mine, how could I have not? Is what, is what you'd expect me to say, no? Truth be told, I was not a part. I have no interest in organizations such as those. It's much too exhausting being around the same people... Same group of people for so long. However, I have heard of some of the exploits from the big man himself. You mean Garver? I huddle close to Jeff so there's no chance of us being overheard. Did he mention anything about Alicia? Only that she was his prized pupil. Very smart, very bright. Somewhat like you, I suppose, except not. Ah, oh, Jeff, you flatter me. I have my moments, but where you are far more relaxed, Alicia was an uptight, wound coil ready to burst at the slightest unforeseen circumstance. Ah, uh, if only I had been there to see the explosion for myself. Jeff dreamily sighs while we're not talking about- Like, we're not talking about someone having a vicious meltdown. Anyway, she was the type who didn't have much free time. I remember seeing her at the library in the late hours of the night, toiling away at her studies. I would consider it a sad situation if I cared. I doubt she had much time to relax. So she never had that much free time on her hands? Who knows, but I would say she spent a good amount of time out of her room and on campus. I suppose everyone was used to it and decided to simply see her when they see her, as they say. Late night studies in the library, and then running around working for her clubs. Yeesh, I would not want to be her. 
And now you see why I am morally against organizations such as that. Don't you- don't you intern here, though? Yes, but this is not a club. It is an internship. I can claim work experience from this. This, at least, provides a means to an end. I guess so, but anyway, is that all you know about her? Yes, is that all you needed to know? Well, I did have a few more questions. Too bad, I must return and analyze my results. Hi, Harley! I lower my eyelids at Jeff's tone. But hey, I got this much out of him, I should be grateful. Well, thanks for the help, Jeff. I guess you're not as rusty as you think. Jeff smugly buffs his nails against his shirt. Uh, anytime, assistant. Use that information wisely for whatever trivial need you require it for. Sounding completely unconcerned, Jeff waves me off and heads back inside the lab. Hmm. I wonder if he would ever care. I wonder if he would even care that I was a potential target for the abductor. Bet he just asked them for some tips on how to be more nutso than he already is. Well, in the end, I did manage to learn more about Alicia, like I planned. She doesn't seem like the irresponsible type. It makes me wonder how the abductor got their hands on her in the first place.